So now that I've had a few days to really try out DSM uh, tool, I kind of wanted to give a rough uh, review of it and my thoughts on it so far. So really, my thoughts so far is that this software is awesome. It's really, really user-friendly. It works really well. It's really fast. So this is what the dashboard looks like. It will tell you when you last listed your item, which is kind of like an incentive to you know list more. Uh, this tells you all your sales statistics, which are pretty sad right now, but this store is only a couple days old. Uh, it tells you what your plan is. I'm still in the free plan. I've maxed it out. And this will show you your limit. And this kind of amazed me because this is a brand new store for me. And yet my limit is nine over 900 items over $22,000. And I know that eBay will give you a higher limit if you're already a seller, but I never called them and told them that. So somehow this brand new store has a high limit. And I'm wondering if that's because I use the same PayPal account for it, but I'm not sure of that. Um, if you scroll down, it will show you here uh, the last items that were uh, changed in the stock prices and any feedback you got here. Um, there's some other tabs here on the side. These are some templates that you can use for the listings. They give you some for free. Um, honestly, I think these are pretty bad, these templates. So what I did was I took this one, edited it, and kind of made it my own the way I want it because the other ones were just a little bit uh, cheesy for me. I didn't like it. It's pretty easy to edit them. And then I made this one, which doesn't look anything like this, so I'm not sure why it looks like that. But yeah, the next one is the next tab down. is called Rapid Lister. This is where you actually list the item. Um, super easy to use. You just put in the URL, which where which marketplace you want to market it to, and then you choose your template. Right, and these are the sources you can list from: Amazon, Amazon UK, Walmart, AliExpress, Home Depot. These, so it's like nine or ten of them. Um, and then you click here, it'll show you the, all the items you're monitoring, but I don't want to show that because I don't want to show you what I'm selling. This will show you any sales and any orders, which right now are none for me, but that's going to change soon and your profit estimated. There's also a plugin for Chrome, and that will help you quickly order items. Um, it kind of like automates the process a little bit. It definitely looks like it's going to go much faster. I'm excited to use that. Basically, just when every time you open up a PayPal email, it'll copy the address and the item number, search for in DSM tool, automatically open up the item in Amazon or Walmart, set the quantity, add the address, and all you have to do is click the buy button very quickly. So that's what it. That's all it is. Um, it's very user friendly. It's very easy to look at. Now compare that to the software I've been using for my old store, which is SkewGrid and HydroLister. And this is SkewGrid. SkewGrid's the one that monitors the price. And it has, once you load it up, it has all the items here. If you scroll down, you'll see them all, as well as the price and how much it is on the supplier's website and the last time it was updated. And normally when you start up SkewGrid, this could take like, five minutes to load up when you have a lot of items really frustrating um, and then this is hydra lister which you use to list the item you just put in the item url here click add and then you kind of edit some stuff on the next screen um, but it's a little bit clunky to use in my opinion these are not very user friendly I, i've always thought that they were clunky you know you add something in here it, it sets a default price and every time I try to change the default price it gets messed up it's really frustrating so that's something I don't like about these two what I do like about SkewGrid and HydroLister is that they work with so many sources um, is there some place I can see that 
that would be great. Oh, mark yeah. supported stores. Yeah, look at them all. So many stores. The list just goes on and on and on and on and on. It's a lot of them. Whereas DSM tool, like I said, only works with those few stores. This list. So SkewGrid and HydroLister aren't really user friendly because they focus more of their time on adding new suppliers. Whereas DSM tool seems like they want to make a really good experience and make these stores work really, really well on their website. The other big difference between them is the price. So SKU Grid, so HydroLister is 80 bucks a month uh, for unlimited listings, but SKU Grid runs off this really confusing credit system, right? So it, you have to buy a bunch of credits and then they use different credits depending on what it's doing. So it's like a credit to add an item, a credit to check an item, and a credit to change the price of the item, a credit to add um, something back into stock. Um, it's confusing and it's really easy to get really expensive very quickly. So let's say you have 2,000 items, let's see, and let's say you want to check it every hour. Well, let's actually do um, 150 items and you want to check it every hour, right? It's estimated you're going to use 100, what was this? 140,400 credits per month. So that's $30 per month just for SKU Grid to check it every hour. Now let's see how much it would cost for a DSM tool. Come over to the dashboard because I have to upgrade myself um, if I want to list more. So I'm going to click here. It says get more. And it says upgrade your free plan. So this is a little trick. If you're not ready for 300 listings, you can move this back to 150. So this is only $10 a month. This is a third of the cost. And guess what? This one checks every hour. You don't have to worry about credits or anything. It's much less confusing. So this one kind of encourages you to check them less often because you don't want to spend as much money, um, which is another great reason I l really like DSM Tool. So it's really about what you want to do with the software. If you're looking for something that's really easy to do, you know you're only going to use these few sources like Home Depot, Walmart, Amazon, Aliexpress, Home, um, Kmart, Target, then this is really the one to go go with. It's much cheaper, much easier. But if you really want to branch out into a bunch of different sources and try, um, you know, try to beat out your competition by using sources they're not, then this is the one to go with. Now, originally, I went with Skewer and HydroLister because it's the one that everyone was saying to use. And at the time, not many, if any, of the other sources had the option for Home Depot. I think DSM Tool only added Home Depot uh, within like the last six months or so because I don't remember seeing it when I checked it originally. So I'm considering actually moving everything from my old store over to DSM Tool, but that's going to be like a whole process. So I'm not sure about that yet. But if I was a new seller, I'd be using DSM Tool because you know, they're great software. They are adding more suppliers. They just don't do it as quickly as HydroLister. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to upgrade my plan to probably the 300 just so I can get more listings going. And I hope you guys learned something in this video. I hope you, um, you know, got a good feeling for, for uh, which software you want to use. In my opinion, I'll say it again, DSM tool is really the way to go if you're looking for something simple and that works really well. But if you really want to beat out your competition by having a variety of sources, then you should go with SKU Grid and HydroLister because you just can't beat that. All right, hope you guys enjoy the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one for the next segment of uh, this.